Welcome back to Tombadula TV and to Series 3 of Intervista Interviews. I'm here with Sebastiano Riggio and uh, we'll continue our chat. Now, uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I know that as a businessman, you have had the experience over the last few years of certain things that have happened since the global financial crisis. Now, what do you think has actually happened according to you? Well, according to me, it's very difficult to put, you know, pinpoint exactly what's happened, but there's a lot of company or a lot of companies all over the world globally that have gone very, you know, very bad the wrong way. And, uh, and that could be a series of things. Uh, however, with my experience, um, we, uh, we, when I say we, but I put a company together a few years ago which uh, was heavily involved in niche products and uh, niche systems and it's in the dental industry and uh, uh, at the worst possible time in, in, in the, you know, that we could possibly actually start a business, um, uh, uh, we've been able to be successful and uh, we've, we've, we've been able to put a new dental system on, uh, on track, make it, make it an international product and um, uh, be quite successful. Have uh, and you you received uh, proper backing from our yes banks, we have we, we well yeah we've had a lot of government backing. Melbourne University have been great to do all their trials in, in terms of uh, uh, this new system, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience. And uh, you know we've got I've got a great team that have been supportive and uh, put in a lot of hard work. And uh, of course it's very difficult to direct um, a, a team of diverse. You know, areas into uh, and you were telling me that some of the work is actually done in the Veneto region, is it in Italy? Or yes, that's yes, that's something right. Different? We, 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 uh, there's well, uh, we, we, our production is uh, pretty primarily in, in Ankara in Turkey and uh, and uh, uh, Istanbul, but we've got production, you know, uh, in place in other parts of the world, and one of them is in Venice, obviously, just and here too in Australia. Yes, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we have this production. This is the head, headquarters. Absolutely, absolutely. We're trying to make it an Australian product, but that's the wonderful thing about being in Australia, that we, you know, we have this, this, this great reachability of being able to increase our tentacular reach in, in terms of the company having... Now, I'm a language teacher, and sure. I'm very interested in this. Uh, do you think, as a businessman, do you think that the knowledge of another language or other languages actually uh, is very good when you are dealing with uh, people from overseas does it affect you the fact exponentially that i think it's a wonderful thing to have and it, it doesn't uh, you know it has a very positive effect and when you especially when i'm in in italy and speaking to people in italian and i my my italian's not that fluent but i certainly get by fairly well but adesso proprio perché tu hai detto che quel tuo italiano non è non è così buono. Vediamo un po', parlami un po' della tua esperienza in Italia, cosa ne pensi dell'Italia adesso, del, well, de, de, del nuovo governo, di, di quello che... I'm pensi? think, I'm think, no, no, just, <laughs> no, con la mia esperienza, uh, il fatto che ho so vissuto qua in Australia, uh, ho perso tanto, ho perso tanto dei, 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 uh, dei, degli miei um, uh, possibilità perché vorrei, vorrei anche parlare molto meglio, di, di anche leggere ancora molto meglio, di avere un, una inter, come si dice, interazione, interazione, comunicazione con, una, con, con, comunicazione con la gente Beh, che sanno Da questo di... punto di vista sì. il mio lavoro durante gli anni, qui avevamo qua nel, nelle nostre vicinanze, qui a Princess Hill, Carberg High, e nel sistema TAIF uh, mm -hmm. avevamo uh, classi di, di lingue per adulti, per 20 lingue, per questo che insegna è qui, perché mm -hmm. non esatto, riuscivamo perfetto. a prendere uh, i libri in tante lingue e, e quindi qualcuno doveva fare quel lavoro, io l'ho fatto io, e quindi ho cercato di aiutare questo, questa idea di mantenere la lingua originale e di parlarla qui in questo paese a un livello abbastanza alto così si può, si può usare eh, anche per, per l'Australia, per le esportazioni sì, sì. quindi se c'hai una squadra di persone che parlano l'inglese bene, parlano il cinese bene che parlano l'indi bene, che parlano il malaysian bene, che parlano uh, l'indonesiano è tutta una cosa importantissima Tanto. And, uh, on that note, I've shown uh, our 
viewers what you can do with language. It's very important for you to learn languages, young people, mm. because it is the way of the world. And the fact that you may not be able to speak it really fluently, it's only a question of where you happen to be at the time. So if you want to learn French, maybe give yourself a few months in Paris and study a lot over the years. Mm, I think that's very true, yeah. And that's what we need to do. With you. And involve yourself in the arts. So even yeah. though you're a businessman, Sebastiano, io ti invito qui a, a venire qui a fare qualcosa nel Teatro Padula, così parliamo un po' anche in italiano yeah. e ci divertiamo un po'. Sì, come no. Non eh. pensare alle altre cose, ma realmente di, fa, di avere una comunicazione bilingue uh, in questo posto. E, e, it's so, I'm so pleased today that we actually met John Bono. John Bono, you naughty boy, you should have been here too, but I'll get you next time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we spoke about the theatre uh, and the development of Italo Australian theatre in the 70s and the 80s and from the late 60s. And of course, there was some experience before then. But uh, on that note, I, I think, what would you like to see that the, we spoke in Italian in our activities here? Or we spoke in English, or both. Uh, I think uh, I think it's it's very important to have both, um, and uh, it's important because of one to keep uh, uh, the generation that we've, with our legacy to let them understand that it's important to have the English because this is where they live, but also the legacy of the language, the historical and the culture. legacy, absolutely, mm. and and to have this this uh, this help. Uh, from us as uh, original I Italians coming from Italy and keeping the language is a very important thing for them because at least that way they can have a quick grasp on you know, yes. the importance of the but, language. But it is, uh, it is a lifelong pastime. It's a, it's a great pastime. Mm. It's, a, it's a wonderful thing. Because I you have to be conscious of the fact that you need to really improve the languages uh, continually over a lifetime. So travel, theatre, uh, singing, anything artistic, also just communicating, playing cards, and uh, speaking in Italian to your opponent, maybe say a few words. I mean, this is sort of things yeah. that makes our life. Well, I made uh, the decision. I made the decision when I was when I was very young, when I was 17, 18, with my friends, and obviously they were all pretty much Italian, uh, and coming from an Italian group and speaking English was a. a, a I think a negative thing, you know, for the group because they'd all speak English. So I made a decision with them that uh, if wherever together or we're going out together, that we speak Italian, regardless of whether it's regardless of whether there is a dialect and we're embarrassed. But I'm about sure you didn't maintain that, did you? What well, we did. I love the dialects. I love the, the you know the fact that the boys, some of the boys, are you know, speaking Calabrese. Did, did you then go into the English? Just, you know, when you couldn't... Absolutely, you had to. Sometimes because of the fact that we didn't have the experience, we hadn't grown up in Italy, and obviously uh, those words come a, a bit difficult. I found that uh, when my children were growing up, we were playing uh, cricket or whatever, or tennis, and I used to say to my son, uh, uh, trying to speak a little bit in Italian, he'd say, ah, what did you say? And we'd lose <laughs> track of the sport. So oh, therefore, right. it was, it is, it, the way you live, and the language that's taught in schools has a very big influence on children. And after all, our children were born here in Melbourne. They weren't born in Italy. No, that's right. And, we have and to it's a different, yeah. their life actually started here. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they will identify with Melbourne a lot more. Sure. And if, mm -hmm. we, can, if we can form a synergy between the two languages, between the two, the, the two cultures, and, and, and understand that they have to try and live. I love that word synergy. And on that note, we're going to Go for another break. Wonderful. <laughs> good. Thank good. you very much thank you for very that. Much. Yeah, good.